Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. So today's video is going to be a swag share from the Go Wild Planner Conference 2022 in Anaheim. So if you guys want to check out this video and everything that I have from the swag and the conference, then keep on watching. So thanks so much for stopping by. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional. And today we're gonna talk about swag. So I'm sharing all the swag that I got from my first time going to uh, Go Wild, which was here in California, SoCal in Anaheim. And um, I'm gonna try to keep this as organized as possible. So I'm gonna share with you um, what they call swag drop in the hotel, um, what they call just swag drop where the volunteers come in and give you a bag of goodies. And then I have things that were set at the table when we came into um, the conference. So I don't know if that's something new that they did from previous um, Go Wilds. Um, I can tell you off the bat, everything was a lot different than what I've seen in previous Go Wild. So I'm just going to share with you guys my experience and how things were given to me. I'm, I'm super grateful for everything that I have. Um, I'm actually kind of glad it wasn't too much. Even though I didn't fly, I couldn't imagine people that flew. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't live that far, so I just... Pretty much my roommate, I just um, piled everything in her car. So we, we just, we had everything piled up in her car. But um, yeah, so let me just share everything. And it's not bragging in any way. Again, I'm just really excited. Some of the things in here I haven't even um, looked at. So I thought it would be fun to um, see my first impressions and things like that. So, okay. So first thing, the three items, three bags that I got for like the volunteers that came in for swag drop, swag drop. The first one here was Happy Planner because Stephanie Fleming was our first speaker on Friday. So Happy Planner gave us this beautiful tote, which I kept. And I also got some other things in here that I did give away, um, only because I, it was the squad goals, um, design or collection. And honestly, I already have some of that collection, um, from being on squad. And then I just thought maybe someone else would love it. So there was a, um, what was really cool, they, there was a um, Go Wild app and people were posting all kinds of things on that app. So I thought that was really fun. So if you wanted to like meet up or if you were doing a D stash or um, you wanted to trade some of your swag or something, you could get all that information from the posting in that Go Wild app, which was really, I think, which was really helpful. So I got this um, bag and I posted, um, if I can find a photo, I will place it in the video, what all came in here. But pretty much I kept the bag because I thought it was cute. I could give it to my daughters. But we also got little stickers in here. I think that's the only thing that I kept. Um, it was like a spiral notebook. It was your create your own sticker book that they do um, that you guys saw me made for Go Wild. Um, I, th those are just not my favorite. I had the hardest time flipping through that. So I just gave mine away. I think I gave mine to Desiree, but the other two things I posted on the app for someone to come pick up at my hotel room, um, or my room, and that was super easy. And um, they were excited about receiving it. So it was just really great to do that. So again, I think it was a notebook and then um, expander disc, but they were a different color. But again, I'll share a photo if I can, but um, I did um, keep the bag and we got this big vinyl. I think it's a vinyl sticker. Yeah, so it's just a cute little vinyl sticker. Um, it looks like there's two in here and I'll just go ahead and open that. Yeah, so there are two big vinyl stickers. This one's really cute, actually. This is of all the squads that they've had previous. That represents the sticker books. Um, I guess Squad Life, Squad Goals. And this character, though, looks new. This one may be new, or it could be from Squad Life. This one. But how cute. That is very cute. It says Bright Skies Ahead. Really cute. 
And then there's this one here. It says um, Dream Big. It's like the florals. It's kind of cut out a little bit. I really like this one. That was cute. My favorite from this is this planner here. It's like a fuzzy felt um, <laughs> happy planner. This is cute. Like this is my favorite. This is, I don't know if this is an iron on patch or sticker patch. It does have an adhesive on here. So I really don't know. Um, but it's super cute once I figure it out. Again, I did not have time to look through any of this stuff. Um, I felt like I was on go, go, go. Um, I'm going to try to have like a recap. I just want to get my thoughts together and write an outline out for you all. Um, that way I can be really descriptive in my video on my recap. But if you guys have any questions about Go Wild, definitely leave it in the comments down below. That would be super helpful. But most of the time, I was just on, like, go, go, go. I didn't expect to just be so busy and not have a lot of downtime. And when I did have downtime, I totally took advantage of it and just chilled on the bed for, like, 15 to 20 minutes. So I didn't really have time to look at um, my swag. Even at the table, when we did receive it, I was just more of trying to listen to speakers or um, when we got our breaks, where the breaks were located. So it was just all new to me. Okay, so that was the first swag drop that was um, by Happy Planner and brought by the volunteers, which is always nice. Thank you to all the volunteers that could take time to do that. Also what we got um, as we walked into the conference on Friday, we got this really cool, I think this is really cool. I haven't seen anything like this, but I'm sure that maybe this is something you would get like at a concert or something. But it's this foam rolling stick, I guess. Um, and you can, it's like a glow stick and it has like different settings. So this was really cool. This was by sponsored by Lights Planner Action. And it says, stay light, stay bright. And um, Bess, who is um, the, the uh, founder of Lights Planner Action, she was there Friday and Saturday morning to get us pumped and ready for the conference um, since it was super early. So that was really fun. I really liked it, how they did that. I don't know if she did that in previous Go Wilds, but I thought that was really fun. I do have my vlog up if you guys want to check that out. And you can always go to my Instagram and check out my highlights. It's under Go Wild SoCal. And then I'm going to try to do some reels on, you know, a couple clips and maybe photos, but I definitely have a full vlog up for you guys to watch. But I thought this was really fun and neat. So we got that. The second swag drop from volunteers was um, from Erin Condren. And the only thing with this was um, it just wasn't, I don't think it was organized as well. I, I'm not really sure. There could have been some you know, mishaps or something. I'm not really sure, but um, I almost missed my swag because we were, um, they announced it's time for break and where break was. And as we were walking out, then the volunteers came in. So I had to return back to my table so I could get my swag back. Um, I don't know. I mean, we were, we were on break, which was across the room to the other conference room, which where break was, but I just, I had no direction, so I just didn't know like um, to come back and get that. You know, I just I didn't have any idea because they just they didn't announce it. So what we got in here was um, this cute little list pad. Again, I've mentioned before that Erin Condren does these cute little um, customized list pad so this one's really cute it has like this pretty grape color in the background with the sun um, and it says sunshine on my mind it's just lined so this is really cute and what's really cool is I got the daily petite planner for the next couple of months which I don't have so I'm really excited about this um, So this is the next one, volume two, April through June of 2022. 
So mine ends in March, and then I have this one. And it does still come with the pocket, extra sheet of stickers. And this is blue. June's in blue, or like teal. It's like teal. And then May is like this peach tone color. And then April's purple. Super cute. Okay, so I'm excited about this, having the next petite planner. And then we also got, these glasses are really cute. We got these cute little purple sunglasses and it has UV protection. And they do say Erin Condren on them. They're super pretty, I like how they're clear. And then they, they do kind of have like an ombre they're like pinky fuchsia and then it goes into this purple color so those were fun and then we also got um, line sticky notes super cute um, I've never used these before do these it says floating florals stylized sticky notepad 30 removable adhesive notes So it has a little adhesive here. So I guess you just stick it in your planner somewhere. If you could stick it on a bookmark too, like on their snap-in bookmarks. I'm sorry, you may hear pumpkin in the background. Pumpkin. Shh. Okay, so that's really cute. So that's our swag drop from Erin Condren. So the last swag drop, this was at the end of... Um, Saturday's conference we got this fun bag now this bag is really cute I love the like iridescent um, shiny look to it I love that I love the glasses and it says Planaheim and um, it says Avery on here so I don't know if most of this stuff was sponsored by Avery but they were there as a sponsor um, but this bag um, was our last swag drop from the volunteers and honestly a lot of the stuff in here I haven't really pulled out to look at so we're gonna look at it together and it does look like it's a mixture of different sponsors okay so I know though for sure this um, so we had a fun little it was like a first thing that they were doing uh, Christiana designs did a trivia around play planner related questions that was super cute but it wasn't Honestly prepared, um, they had some trouble with the game in general. Um, I didn't get to, to film that as much, so but it was super fun. They had like really good questions, so I think it's something cute to have for their next conference. So I think this was a little uh, drop for us, um, which is really cute. It's got a llama with some pens and it says not for basic Bix. Um, so it's a little planner pouch, which I could always use in other planner pouches because I love collecting bags. <laughs> it's super sturdy. It's so cute. It has like the leopard print. It has this keychain pool here. And the inside it has white lining in it. So super, it, that was super cute. I think there was something else with this. I think it was like a sheet of stickers. So we got this little pouch. Um, here is, I think Avery just did the bag. They sponsored the cute little bag design. Here's a little packet from them, which is fun. That's cool. So here's a sheet of stickers from, um, Llama Letters and Christian Design. I guess this was a collab. So this is Steve from Christian Designs and I'm assuming that this is uh, Llama Letters, which is Cindy, who was a speaker there. I really enjoyed her speech. Um, it gave some perspective on, on planning. So uh, I think this is her handwriting. Super cute. Okay, we have Pink Room Co. 
left it looks like we have some foiling overlays really pretty I like the rose gold so you can find her on uh, Twitter and Instagram the pink room co that's really pretty and we have some washi pretty it does give me simply gilded vibes has a little bows there really um, pretty colors so that's fun thank you oh we did get simply gilded I did get to meet Irene that was just so fun she was like one of the you know top people that I really wanted to meet in person so I actually got to see her twice I saw her at Plain Jamma, which was fun um, I was hoping they were gonna sell and have like little booths but um, you didn't get to buy anything really that not that I know of again I was on the go and I really didn't see like a lot of people at the photo booth which was like the day that you got to take photos and everything at different sponsor booths and things like that I think there was some things that you could buy from Plum Paper um, that I saw but that's that's about it but I was just hoping to buy some washi from Simply Gilded but I'm glad we got some in our swag it's really pretty it's got like the um, foiling bows and it has like a pink and orange ombre look to it which kind of matches the colors for uh, the Planaheim like banners and graphics and things so we got two which was awesome from simply gilded thank you what is this okay so it looks like we have a card from hallmark thank you Right, so it looks like we just got some cards. Be as kind to yourself as you are to everyone else. It's a flip card. So they're blank cards. Ooh, these are pretty though. Nice. She believes she could, so she did. That's a very popular quote. Very pretty. It's always nice to have cards on hand to give to people. So that's fun. Thank you to Hallmark. All right, so we have a little goodie bag from Avery. We have some Ultra Tabs. These are the Lux Collection. Um, and then some sticker sheets and this marker here. Marks a lot per minute, ultra fine. Ooh, it does have like a really ultra fine tip. Kind of reminds me of a Stadler pen. So I'm assuming it writes in color. Let me get some paper. Okay, probably not the best example using this neon heart, but I'm just gonna write a little something to see how it writes. Oh, that writes really nice. Wow, that's kind of smooth. I really like that, it's very opaque. Okay, for the stickers. You get one sheet of stickers and they look like a lot of adventure stickers or traveling. So this, these are really cute. And they're glossy stickers. So these I think were given to me um, by Bloom when we were in the registration line. There was these ladies um, dressed up um, in roller skates and they had the little bags and they were passing out these. So these I actually just put in here, but it's from Bloom um, Planners and it just says, go wild, Planaheim, llamas, really cute. So they're like vinyl stickers. Then we have this fun vinyl sticker. I'm not sure who this was by, but it says go wild. It's like sunglasses. That's really cute. Um, I think this is by Bloom Planners as well. It's like a little card. It says, you deserve hugs and happiness. Okay, so this sheet was given to us as we were walking up to, um, so like everything was on the second floor from the lobby. Um, so as we were, I, it's in my vlog, they were passing these sheets of stickers by Chrissy and Designs which was really cute. I think it was kind of a spin off of, of course, the Go Wild trip, but maybe karaoke, which was part of her thing for the welcome party. Really cute. Oh, cute, look at this little um, postcard. Go Wild SoCal, Miss Moss. So this is by MissMossGifts.com. 
Look at that cute illustration. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Okay, so this is a little gift from Tombow. It's a free sample marker. Um, ABT Pro alcohol base marker. I don't know, I've never used this before. Dual tip, it's got a brush on one side and a chisel tip on the other side. To me, this feels like a, um, for illustration. So you use a pen like this to um, draft up illustrations. So this is like a pro art marker. Yeah. I am not on that level, but it's fun to try something new. Okay, cool. Then we got something from Capital Chic Design. Capital Chic Designs. I always want to say Chic. It's Capital Chic Designs from Lamika. I think that's how you pronounce her name. This postcard is an original art from us. I wanted to see what a slumber party would look like. Hope you love it like me. I also hope you are enjoying yourself at Go Wild. Really cute. So it's a lot of Disney princesses illustrations. I am so sorry about the noise. I just, I can't, I don't understand it. So we got a cute little Mickey pen and these are fun. I love seeing all the different pens and putting them on my lanyard, which I have over here. So we, at registration, we got this lanyard and um, our card and I just put all the pens I could find on here. It was really fun. So I have this one here with the little Mickey. It has a little um, mask that says Planaheim. And this is so cute. I love how she did all the Disney princesses, you know, having a slumber party. Cute. And then I got a cute little sticker. It looks like Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. So that's fun. Okay, let's see. We have some Practical Paper Co. List Pad. Or yeah, list note, notes here. They're all different, so that's nice. Cool. Then what's this? Oh, this is from Bloom Planners. They're like travel sheet stickers. They're like glossy, super cute. They're very like Cali-like, um, fun and bright. I love stickers like this. The icons are really cute. And then we also got a fun make it count book uh, magnetic planner bookmark fun okay cool we have some stickers here for custom stickers so they make custom stickers share share photos of your stickers with sticker giant okay this is vinyl moody cats who is this this is cute so this is moody cats design co oh my gosh this is adorable shop moody cats designs co.com instagram they have a code for cats go wild 20 percent off up until august oh my gosh that is adorable okay i'm not gonna take all these out but i'm definitely gonna check them out because that is cute you guys know i have cats i love cats Okay, this is from the sticker. Oh my gosh, she, I was totally wanting to see her. I forgot to put a post on the, the app so I could see her to see if she brought any extra stuff. But this is from the sticker party. Um, oh my gosh, this is cute. It's a little washi with rainbow hearts. How fun. Okay, more washi from girl boss Anna. This one's like a sparkly washi. Kind of want to open this because it looks like it's a different color. Oh, I'm not gonna know who this is. Oh, it's actually on the inside. Okay, girl boss Anna. Oh, this is interesting. It's like a translucent washi. Like, it kind of looks like acetate or something. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find the opening. Or is that just a film? Okay, that's just a film. Okay, so it's just gold. I thought maybe it was a different color. So it's like a hollow um, sparkle star washi. But do you guys see that? It kind of looks like it's clear. I can't find the 
opening. Oh, it's perforated. So it's like a swatch of sparkly stars. So you can use them as headers. So they would go underneath. So you would place, <laughs> you'd place the stick, the um, washi down, and you could put a header, a paper header over that. Because I don't think you could write on this because of the slick surface. But that is cool. I love that. That's very innovative. So I don't know. I've never seen anything like that. So that's really cool. We have something from Print Pression. I also have a table drop um, is what I'm calling it. Like when we walked in from our breaks or whatever, again, we didn't know that they were doing that. So um, for that, for when the wild panel came out and, and uh, Kane Anderson from Print Pression had dropped off. Um, I'll share that in a minute. Cause again, I want to kind of keep this organized. So you guys got an idea of it. But we also um, got something from him as well. So thank you to him. I got to meet him in person. He was someone else on my list that I wanted to take a photo with. He is so adorable. Um, so again, this is a precision pen cutter. Whoa. Uh, I'm not going to open this yet because I, I don't know how this works. I will have to like check out his YouTube channel to see if he has a demo of this. But he also gives you a replacement a replacement blade, which is cool. So I don't know if these are new. Maybe these are new. You guys let me know. Cut, trim, craft, just like a pro. Precision pen cutter. I love him. He is so innovative and just his design aesthetic is just amazing. Um, okay, so we have Once More With Love. Oh my gosh. I don't know if they sponsored a table. It was really hard to see all the tables. The room was huge it was so huge it's really hard to see who all sponsored um so this is a cute little sticker from them super cute oh my gosh adorable uh, we also got stickers from i don't know who this is so these stickers are new to me so these are what they call flat lay stickers what who is this by Paper Shire. So this is by Paper Shire. How cute. These are paper stickers, matte paper stickers. And it says, um, I don't know what this means, but it just says flat lay. Maybe it's, is it, it says GW. Does that mean go wild? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or does it mean something else? Uh, it says a cute flat lay of like, yummy desserts and a planner and your office space a flat lay of your bookshelf planner things and then doodles a bunch of cute planner icons and then a desk and bow that's super cute i love the postcard these are cute stickers okay cute i don't know who this is by but we got a vinyl uh mini mouse and it, she has a mask on with like palm trees and it says go wild that's really cute then some stickers from bella rose paper co super exciting because i was really hoping to get some kind of go wild themed stickers because again i didn't buy a whole lot and there were nobody there was kind of selling anything I mean, I'm glad there was so much like people just swapping um, contact cards that had the cutest um, icon stickers on them. So I'm set with stickers. So I was really grateful for that. And these are really cute. These are like daily stickers from Bella Rose. These are paper. I have a Wild at Heart vinyl sticker. Fun. Ooh, these are pretty. These are like foiled purple stickers by the sticker guru. Hey, we're Lisa and Lucy at the sticker guru. How cute. So you guys got to find them on um, Instagram. They have a discount for code go wild. I love that. Okay, here's some stickers. I'm not sure, okay. From, is this Jackie Plants? I hope so, but really cute. Llama Love, really cute. 
Okay. Oh my gosh, these are cute. Craft Trina, is that what that says? Or Craft Rina? Craft Rina, it should be Craft Rina, sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible at reading people's names. Oh my gosh, look at those pandas. It's so kawaii, I love this stuff. These are paper. We have another sticker sheet by um, Plan Paper Loving Mommy. This looks like a, um, a weekly sheet. Cute. I love the marble here. These are paper. Okay, where's this from? Go get her, girl. Oh, I did kind of see her table. That was um, sponsored. That was fun. Love that. So that's a gift code. We have Christina Jean. Is that who this is? Sticker patch. Peel and stick for a touch of flair. A sticker patch. Wow. Hand lettered and hand made design. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, it's super thin. So it does look like a die cut, but it is a, um, it's kind of like a printed patch. That's super neat. Cool. All right, so just a couple more things. Something from Lights Planner Action. So she does like black and white. Um, that's her aesthetic for like uh, planner pages or inserts, but this looks like a fun little list pad. So wild recap. I feel so inspired to. I was so proud of myself when I can't stop laughing about the emotions I'm going to go through. We are the wild ones. She was amazing. I really lo loved her. Um, I'm going to have to look at her stuff more because I really like the black and white aesthetic and I can add my own color to it. So that's that. It says meal plans. So maybe these are little samples of what she has to offer. I really don't know. Because the only thing I've ever bought from her was the Go Wild um, inserts. This is nice though. I love the I love the layout of this actually. So that's for meal planning. Here's her, here's her, here is another example of a different one of a list. So this one's like I like the um, font on this one actually. And then you can write your dinners here. And then this one it has the cursive at the bottom. So you can write your dinners like that. Actually, I like the other one better. Cool. So this is for um, dinner plans. I mean, that's the first thing that I had to do when I get home. I had to do meal planning. Fun. <laughs> she knew, so thanks. <laughs> Okay, so then we have some stickers from Ginny, Ginny Penny Plans. Super cute. I think I've heard of her on um, Etsy, actually. She had, like, really cute stuff. Really cute. You can find her on Facebook and Instagram. Or maybe I'm getting her confused with someone else because she has her own website. Or maybe she has both. I know a lot of shop owners have still have their Etsy shop and they still have, like, their own website. Really cute. Again, I'm so glad that I was able to get some kind of wild theme stickers. Okay. Wonton a million. Oh my gosh. I think I saw her table and it was way on the other side. So I was kind of like in the front of the line and it was just so overwhelming that I pretty much just stuck to tables right by the door. <laughs> because again, that room was so huge. And I think her, I finally found out her table was way at the very end. Um, and it, yeah, it was just so hard to see everyone's table, but she was one of the ones that I wanted to sit at, but that's okay. I, I had a good table that I sat at. Really cute. These are like soft vinyl stickers. Oh my gosh, the wontons are so cute. Okay, love that. Then this is, not sure what this is. Disruption? Not sure what this is. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, and then I have a glitter pen, glitter highlighter pen, purple one. These are fun. Yeah, these are like a, a Wink Estella. These remind me of Wink Estella. 
So you're not going to be able to see it on this yellow. I don't have a white piece of paper, but it's like a um, nice glitter brush pen. Okay, so what we got in our rooms was this package here. It was it was just like this on our beds. And I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Um, I guess I should have looked it up. But I think it says wavebakers.com. We are all visionaries. It's a huge like spiral type of planner. And so we have two little um, vinyl stickers here. I'm assuming that's wave. It's spelled W-A-A-V. It says, be good, do good. We are all visionaries. And so it's this like eight and a half by 11, um, kind of like blue sky planner. So it's got this um, nice clear dashboard kind of cover over it. Um, and it's on a ring, spiral ring binder. And it's a weekly, monthly planner calendar, January 22 through December. So it's a full year calendar. Um, it's recyclable material. Um, it's earth friendly, double sided recycled paper pocket. So it's like an earth friendly, earth friendly um, planner, which is really cool. A postcard here. And you guys can definitely look them up if you like. They are also on Instagram and TikTok. I'm just gonna read a little bit here. It says, we believe that everyone has potential to grow and help change the world around this in a positive way. Super fun. So I'm not gonna flip through this whole thing. Oh, I have like confetti <laughs> in here, but um, I'll share the dividers actually, but let me just flip through here. So it's more like a cultural, um, earth-friendly or eco-friendly um, type of planner. You know, it's recyclable and things like that. That's super neat. And again, it's just a yearly, I think it's horizontal maybe. Here's the, the monthly view. Oh, it actually has a folder. It's like a paper folder, double-sided. It has a yearly overview, it has an introduction, and then it has seasonal goals. And it's actually split in um, seasons. So spring, summer, fall, winter. That's interesting, I've never seen that before. So the monthly dividers are like um, little collages. That's kind of fun. Super cool. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and flip through this, but I see something else that's a little different. <clears throat> so this is my birthday month. Let's see what it says. Birth month flower, uh, Lily of the Valley. Okay, I didn't even know that. Um, Zodiac, so you could either be a Taurus or a Gemini. I'm a Taurus. I love that it has the Zodiac thing. That's, that's actually kind of cool. Um, my element is Earth quality, fixed, I don't know what that means, ruling planet Venus, power color green and pink, okay, they got the green color right, um, I normally like purple more than pink, <laughs> um, reliable, patient, practical, devoted, responsible, and grounded, um, yeah, reliable, I'm patient, practical, devoted, Responsible. I don't know about grounded. I guess that depends on what they mean by that. But uh, Mother's Day secret. Yeah, May is like full of life. I really love the the, um, the month of May. And my birthstones is emerald. Super cool. I like that. I like how they did that. Okay. So here's June. Ooh, really pretty. Yeah. So it looks like it gives you zodiac months for each one. And your flower. That's cool. My daughter's gonna love this actually. She's gonna like to look at each one of these to know what is what. Hers is July. Um, I have a baby in July and a baby in November, and my husband's birthday is October. What's his? Um Margold? Marigold? Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that right. He's a Libra. <clears throat> and then my oldest is a scorpion. 
or Scorpio, sorry. And then let me just want to check July real quick. Oh, Cancer, that's right. Cool. Okay, this might be a fun little planner. Okay, so what I noticed about this planner. So I talked about, oh my gosh, this is cute. I'm sorry, I can't look through this. I just have so much to share with you guys, but this is kind of cool. The only thing is the paper. Um, this, the paper is super thin. I mean, you could put a lot of stickers in here, but like, just be careful about, I don't know. If you care about ghosting and stuff, it's probably definitely gonna ghost because it's super thin, but it's a cute creative planner. I will give them credit for that. Um, Cute. I'll have to look at this later, but it looks like it has a lot of interesting things in it. So it is a horizontal weekly. It has self-care in here, goals, but when you do the seasonal um, goals in the beginning of the year of this planner, then at the end of each month, it has um, like a check-in, how you're doing. That's cool. This is very interesting. Very creative, very colorful, very lively, super cute. Again, if you guys want to check them out, um, they're on Instagram and TikTok. W-A-A-V, I think that's how you spell that. So that was a fun little planner to get in our rooms and some stickers. Fun little table drops, like when we came back from breaks and things and for the next segment. So Print Prussian gave us some planners and they were all um, different colors, I think, and um, different sizes so I think this is his weeks actually I've been wanting to get this so this was fun that I did get this because I've been interested in this size and again I don't, I don't know exactly maybe this is just a grid oh I thought this I, thought I saw this had um weekly layouts on it okay oh yeah see it's just it's really hard to see it so it has a weekly grid layout um which this is kind of new to me for planning i don't know if this is kind of like kobanichi and all that but i've never used this type of layout as a planner but I've, I've wanted to and i love the color so that's really fun so that was um an item drop or just at our table when we got back from break we also got stickers from wrong wrong and a little postcard that thing keeps rolling really cute oh my god her table was so cute she had this illustration on a bag again go watch my vlog i took some um footage of some of the table that were sponsored so cute so um, we also got some free stickers okay. super cute so these are like her pretty soft stickers of her illustrations these are all Hand, hand illustrated and painted by Wrong Wrong. Oh, I got to see her in person too. She's so cute. She did a meet and greet on Thursday. And she may have done it again, but I'm not really sure. Again, I didn't know about like if they did meet and greets at the booths. I didn't know where to find that. I guess I had to search for it on Facebook and on the... Um, actually, not on the um, app because I think that was just by people who attended but by the people who run Go Wild, I didn't get a lot of direction in that area. Um, I don't know. I, I wouldn't know how I would have found the information or, I mean, we did get an itinerary, but just, I didn't know um, unless, you know, Wrong Wrong did. She posted in her, in her stories and on her posts on Instagram about doing the meet and greet. I did see that. But like for Erin Condren, um, I didn't know that, you know, Tori and Sam were gonna be there at a certain time. It looked like they were there. Um, I did meet them later at the party. I was kind of shy because that was kind of my first time meeting EC Squad or just that whole affiliate. Like I just was really nervous. So I didn't really know a lot of people. I did get to meet um, Marquita, which she was on Squad before me. So I felt a little comfortable sitting with her and talking to her because I knew her, but everybody else I didn't really know. So, but I heard they had a beautiful booth, like in the vlog I shared, there's like a section where everyone had like pop-ups for photo booth opportunities. And I, when I went, 
I didn't see anybody out there except for Avery, Jessica, Liv Posh. Wrong Wrong was out there, but there was nobody at Happy Planner or Blue Sky. Um, I didn't see Christine until later um, at the Zebra booth. Um, there were some people at the Plum Paper, but like I, I just, I guess I missed the memo for Erin Condren. Um, but yeah, I did go in that space in and out just to see everybody. It was just really fun. So that was a drop from coming back from break and then something from Plum Paper. It was really cute set at our table. This was our first speaker on Saturday. So her, her planner collection I've never seen in person. I haven't really um, looked up a lot of information about Plum Paper. So this was really nice. I think one of the positive things was that being able to um, be introduced to a different planners companies because I really don't know too much about plum paper oh my stuff got smushed so this was the hard part of packing everything I was really scared of like squishing everything so a lot of stuff that I got in gift bags I kind of left them um, upright so because I was so scared of it getting squished Okay, so from her, which I, I enjoyed um, hearing from her, and they had really awesome planner layouts, and their paper is super soft. So um, got this cute little list pad. It's so soft. It's kind of like the same in her booklets here. This is a sticker subscription. So you, they have a sticker subscription you can um, subscribe to. It's really cute. I love this folder. Oh, it says tear here. Oh, cute. Okay. Smell the flowers every chance you get. So let me know if you use plum, plum paper planners and what you think about them. Again, I think they had some stickers there that you could buy, like little packs. These are like cute little daily icons, very colorful. It does have like that satin glossy sticker finish to it. So these are really cute. Then we have these here. So um, some boxes, border, daily, some dates, headers. Again, sorry about the noise in the background. Really cute. They're all kind of glossy. I'm more of a paper girl, but these are really pretty. The color finish is really pretty. So cool, I didn't know they had a sticker subscription. Okay, so this was fun. We got this um, little booklet. It says, you are wildly capable. And oh yeah, this was the coloring book. This was super cool. So it's like a mood tracker, monthly mood tracker. So these have been popping up. Um, in the planner community it's kind of trendy I see a lot of bullet journalers um, do like mood tracking and so they have one made for you in case you don't know how to draw like me I just I just don't know how to do that so I love coloring though this is really cute tracking coloring book your habits and moods it tells you how to use it it's a book guide so I don't know if they already sell this or if this is something new so it's January we have habits Track your habits by filling in each section of the giant leaves, color in the vines, to track your daily moods throughout the month. I guess you put your moods here in the color. I'm not really sure. But this is adorable. February, March, April, May, <clears throat> June, July, August, September, October, November. And then we have lines or notes. Cute. Okay. And then this is like a personal guide to their planner. I think some um, Jasmine was telling me that they do personalized planners. So this is kind of a sample book, which this presentation was amazing. She did an amazing job. So this is a little booklet of all the layouts that they have. And she was, you know... Um, I love that. That was one of my favorite parts. I wish I got more of that from other speakers who were there um, about who they are, what they represent. Like, I wish I got more of that, but Plum Paper did an amazing job with that. So she has a lot of different layouts. 
So I'm just gonna flip through this. So this is just like a sample book and she went over this and everything and it was just really great. I think she did an amazing job. So that was from Plum Paper. Um, there was a wild night crop and I kind of missed the majority of it because I was at the EC um, squad dinner party. Um, it ran a little late, so I didn't really get to see what happened there. I think there was like make and takes and things like that. Amy Tangerine was there. At the EC party, we were celebrating also because we went to the Erin Condren store. Okay, so we were celebrating Edivit Jesse, the designer of the Erin Condren collection. Um, so she left a little bit earlier because she was actually doing some um, demos with painting, I think, or something like that, which would have been so fun. I probably would have enjoyed that, but um, that's okay. Um, so I found a spot and I was there. I, I was there at the very end for the crop night with um, Tw Twinkle Plans Her Day, Christine, who was also on my squad term. Um, she is amazing. So she's super fun. And these were at our area. Um, there's some mile liners. And then this little um, little notebook. So I don't I don't really know I I didn't get there in time for the presentation. But um, as I was there for Amy Tangerine, she had made a book, um, and I bought her book and she signed it and everything. I just loved her. So this was something that I bought there. I think this was the only thing that I bought there. So. Um, really cute i just love amy i'm glad she was there she's so fun and energetic and just i love her enthusiast for um, scrapbooking and just memory keeping and things like that so this is a cute little book um, she said it's for adults too but i think her audience was for um kids um but really cute so i just i had to buy it um it says making memories and she had her own stamp. We were like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. So just um, really roughly flip through it because I, you know, it's her own book. So <laughs> that was cool. So I, that's what happened Friday night and I was so exhausted. Speaking of Friday, um, I'm gonna share with you guys what Erin Condren, um, the, the gift and goodies that they gave, which was so, awesome of them. I was super thankful that they invited me even though I was like really new. So um, they have this big large canvas toe and it's really pretty and um, it's by the designer and her illustration or her paint and just yeah this is her own artwork. It's so pretty and bright. I just love it all. So we got an umbrella because it actually was supposed to rain. I don't think it did but that was so that was so nice of them to think about us and um, we all got umbrellas from Eric Condren. Really cool. Um, I got a sticky note booklet. The table was beautiful. Oh my gosh, it was so pretty how they had everything set up. So here are the sticky notes. Really fun and colorful. I love her her paints and her artwork is just amazing. I'm all for this. <laughs> it's my favorite. Um, we have the mini snap and bookmarks. Again, everything's in her in her artwork. I have this. This was our um, place cart holders for dinner. Um, I got another planty pack. I actually bought one from Erin Condren's store, but I gave it to a friend because I didn't know that we were getting this so um that was cool i again love her artwork it's so pretty so these are the ultimate planty packs so we got one of those again super thankful for everything um so this you could actually anybody could buy if you went to the Erin condren store that day um i think it was through the whole conference time frame but um, if you spent 35 or more, you got, I don't know if you got this entire, um, I think this is a notebook, the notebook, or if you just got the covers. But ours were personalized, so they say 2022 hashtag EC squad, which is cute. I love the color of this. It says big dreams, wild hearts, go wild SoCal. So it's the palms. I think I, I know about this, um, 
this collection or this graphic that you can customize. I'm not really sure. It could be new. I don't know. But that's the inside. So it's just a classic line notebook. So nice. It's so nice of them. Um, and we also got this one. This is a monthly planner and it's in the rose gold. I've never gotten an Erin Condren rose gold, rose gold coil before. So I think that is so pretty and it goes well with this cover. So yeah, this is a monthly planner, which I just got one of these for the new year. And I honestly haven't really dived into it too much, but I think they're really nice. I, I think monthly, monthly planners are really great. Um, good source of like planning out your month, like vacations or work stuff because you just work on the month and then you have like extra note pages. Like these dashboard pages and line paper. So I think, I think these are really great planners. And then you have like the pocket, so. And it's kind of like a soft bound. It's got like a soft bound cover. It's not like um, the, with the round edges. It's not like the their um, life planners, the laminated covers. So I don't know, is this new? I really like their soft bound covers. And you, but you can't um, change them because they're closed here on the spine. So there's no opening, but I really like this. This is so pretty. I love it. Okay, what else? We got some markers. These are the fine tint markers. Actually, I was gonna get these too. <laughs> I was gonna buy these, but I didn't. And honestly, it was just because I live in the area and I feel like I'm there a lot. So I was just kind of embracing seeing everyone there in the store and just, um, saying hello to people and just it was a really small store so i just thought you know i'm just gonna let everyone else shop but i did buy that one plenty pack but i gave it to my friend because i already had one okay yeah so this is fuchsia hot pink tangerine gold peacock royal blue and beet super nice of them that was that's a lot of these oh and this was our menu i kept it so i could um this is the restaurant we ate at so I can memory keep it. Um, it was it was a really great night. Again, I sat with at home with um, Kita, so I I talked to Marquita the whole night. That was such a blessing because I was just like again I was kind of shy. But thank you to Sam and Tori for inviting me. It was really nice to meet them. Um, but I was just so glad she was there because I kind of know her from HP, and uh, I got to talk to her all night. It was it was the best. Um, but this bag is so cute. So that was from the party. I think everything else that I have to share with you is table mate gifts and swaps. So actually I'm going to do a separate video for that because this video is going to be so long. So pretty much this is all like swag that was given to me by Go Wild and everything else I'm going to share is what I got from my table mate gifts and people who were passing out contact card and things like that. So um, thank you so much for watching again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got some perspective on like all the swag that you get It's super nice and I will see you in my part two video So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye